Welcome to Season 1, Episode 2 of The Garden Bench. In this episode, we'll be talking to Pastor Justin and learning more about the exciting series that he has coming up for Advent. We know that God speaks to us in many ways, including dreams. In this series, Pastor Justin will be exploring the wildest dreams that occur in the story of Jesus' birth in order to help us understand his purpose and love. Pastor Justin, we know that Advent is a season of waiting, and, and maybe this year more than ever. COVID-19 has resulted in broken dreams for most of us these days. In this sermon, will you explore ways that our broken dreams can be repurposed to serve God's glory? Absolutely, Barry. You know, I love listening to preschoolers answer the question, what do they want to be when they grow up? Doctors, firefighters, police officers, nurses, and then my favorite, the little girl who said Wonder Woman. You know, all of us have dreams that are unfulfilled. And on this Sunday, we'll explore these scriptures and sense the invitation to dream with God. When we dream with God, then we can bring honor to him. Joseph had to revisit his dreams with Mary in order to accept the will of God. His willingness to follow and be part of this unconventional situation in his marriage resulted in great things. Where did he find this courage? How can this inspire us in the unconventional situation we find ourselves in now to continue to do great things? So I'm not Joseph, but I believe that he rested in the security of the truth that God was the one speaking to him and inviting him into this role. Uh, I, I also believe that it was one of those moments of for such a time as this that we see in the book of Esther. And we see that all throughout history where Christian leaders, God calls them, raises them up, uses them to bring forth his purposes, his dreams on earth. Dream Police, that's a very interesting sermon title. In the scripture that accompanies this sermon, the Magi are visited in their dreams and use this visit to warn the Holy Family of Herod's intentions. What are ways that dream police appear to us today? I love listening to the different ways that God communicates and connects with folks because it's unique to every single person that he's created. I think what's important is, is that we learn to cultivate the capacities to pay attention and to hear his voice. And so that comes through all different mediums. So dreams is one of those, prayer, scripture, uh, listening to friends, communicate the spirit in them. All of that are different ways God is communicating to us. In the scripture, dreams are often large and dramatic. Our dreams may not seem as significant, but is God still talking to us in significant ways through our dreams? Yes. Anything that God has to say to us, I believe, is very significant. Again, it comes down to paying attention. Joseph receives word about Herod's intentions on this day, and what happens next, they flee to safety. God is always present with us in communicating. The question we have to wrestle with and ask ourselves is, are we aware of God's presence, and are we listening? The birth of Jesus was the incarnation of God's love. How does this help us manifest the promise of God's love in our own lives? Bottom line, we have to accept that God loves us. And we do that by receiving, accepting Christ in our lives. When we do that, it's a manifestation of God's love in our own lives. And then it's poured out for the world. Thanks so much for watching this podcast with Barry and myself. I am so grateful to my friend, Pastor Talbot Davis at Good Shepherd United Methodist Church in Charlotte. He crafted this series, granted permission to me, to Sedge Garden, to be able to use it this Advent. And I am thrilled that you're going to join us and watch together, learn together about how God speaks to us. So with that said, friends, let's dream together with God and experience some wildest dreams.